So today is cruise day and we're taking a vacation to the coldest place on earth, the bottom of the world, Antarctica. We have a lot of details to go over. We will go over them along the way. We have a nine day cruise over to Antarctica and we just arrived in Ushuaia, Argentina. By the way, my girlfriend Lauren will be joining me on this amazing adventure. We will be giving you guys as many details along the way as possible, including pricing and all the little giblets that go into, I guess, what this journey is going to be. The flight that I just took here over to Ushuaia was actually a complimentary charter flight by the cruise line that I'll be taking over to Antarctica. Now, I did have to pay for my flight over to Buenos Aires, Argentina from Tampa, Florida for myself and my girlfriend. Round trip, it came out to be a little pricey, about $2,300. However, to have a flight from Buenos Aires over to here your way and not have to pay for it isn't a bad deal. Now this cruise is without a doubt going to be one of the wildest and to be honest with all of you, most expensive cruise I've ever taken, but I think this is definitely gonna be one for the books as we are going through the dreaded Drake Passage. You know what that is. You've ever seen the videos of those gigantic waves all over the place and the boats having to survive through them? Yeah, that's uh, where we're going. Here? Yes. Uh, okay, so we have to take our bags here and drop them off here and they're going to take them over to the ship for us. So here we are, Ushuaia. Now, it's not cold here yet. Well, it's somewhat, it's about 50 degrees. It's kind of cold. Something like that, 10 degrees <laughs> Celsius. But now we get ready to board these buses here and we head over to the ship. So it looks like we're boarding bus number three. Lauren, how you feel? <laughs> hey, I wanted the window. No, nah, I'm joking. This is our summer season, so welcome. <laughs> so we just got a quick debriefing about the weather and what's going to happen next. We have a quick 10 minute ride over to our ship. And from there, as soon as we get on, I promise I will give you all the information, the name, the capacity, all the details that you probably care about. Hey, how are you? Can I have your last name? Yes, Scott and Lubert, room 640. Yes, Scott and Lubert. So this is the final piece to the puzzle here as we get ready to head over to the ship. During a final check-in process, we do have a health declaration we have to fill out. Got to put in our basic information and uh, a vaccination as well. In order to be able to sail to Antarctica with this cruise line, we do have to be vaccinated. As we're leaving the international airport from here from Australia and going towards the port. Remember, my name is Nadia and just in case behind the driving wheel, we have Uwe, who is our driver today. On the eastern side of the island, we have the Atlantic Ocean. Then on the western border, we have neighboring country Chile. We're almost here. That over there is our boat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's our ship, guys. The world traveler. Man, I'm excited. Off we go. You excited? I can't wait. This is going to be such a good time. So we're going to go ahead and finish getting checked in. And then after that, I'll give you all the details of this ship, the world traveler. Goodbye. All right, thank you. Bye, have a safe trip. Thank you. Grab my carry-on. Here we go. Let's do this. We are officially aboard the World Traveler. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Hey. Welcome aboard. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you? Good, good. It's good to know. I'll tell you guys right now, I can already tell. This ship is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. So we do have plenty of time. I'm going to show you guys the entire ship. But this here is the Atlas Lounge. We're going to do our check-in and everything here. And after this, we can roam around the ship freely. Yes, tropical splits, please. Tropical splits. Thank you. Welcome. Cheers. This fine gentleman here is going to take us over to our cabin. What do you think so far? Is it the Titanic? So the check-in process was actually pretty quick. They just looked at our, our medical record that we had to fill out prior and looked at our passport and just like that we were good to go. Now we're off to our room. So our room is in the aft of the ship, the back yes, of the exactly. ship, room 640. What? Much better than, than the... Oh, that I know. Is it rocking <laughs> here? Yeah. Or is it more rocking over there? No, or here? more rocking there. Whew. Here a little bit. So you are also bit. nearby the open deck. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. All we have to do is walk straight outside and yeah. we have a nice, beautiful view. Yeah, you will see the wheels every day. Here we go. Come home. And we go. Wow. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. I'll introduce myself a little bit very fast because I know the job. So my name is Abigail and I'm your cabin steward, okay? 
the person that will stay with you all your cruise. I want to know if uh, you like the room, if you need something, if you have any questions. No. No, no. Everything is it's okay. so far. Yeah. It's uh, beautiful. Well, for me, it's beautiful. I don't know for you, but it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It is more than beautiful. <laughs> yeah, because it's new. It's totally it's new. amazing. Well, you will see the mini bar. Everything is included. Okay, you can drink. Oh, perfect. If you want, if wow. you need water, you can drink it. I will. I have the chance to refill every day the water. This is okay. your vacation. Yeah. Oh, perfect timing. We just got to the room. Thank you so much. Bags are already here. Uh, Thank no, you so much. It's uh, one more. Okay, one big, big one. So Lauren's bag is here. The only one's missing is uh. Oh, hey, yours. Like, like, all the, like all the time, just. <laughs> why is it always my bag? I don't know what you do with your bag. No, hold on. What I, do you I, I saw put them, in your bag? I saw them bullet onto the bus, so it's here. What do you put in your bag? Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. <laughs> oh look! Right before we were about to head out, it's my bag. <laughs> what did you put in that bag? It is not that heavy. So I have no shame in admitting that I've been in some nice rooms. However, this is without a doubt the nicest room I have been on on a ship. Now this is known as the A1 Horizon Cabin here on board the Atlas Ocean World Traveler. If you guys want a full tour, I have no problem doing that for you. I'll go over all the prices in detail, but all I gotta say is, <laughs> oh, wow. Now let's do some exploring. Actually, before we go anywhere, I gotta give you guys a little bit of information about this ship and this cruise line. So the ship that we are going to be gallivandering over to Antarctica is known as the World Traveler. It's a brand new ship launched in the summer of 2022, which makes it not even a year old, and it is owned by Atlas Ocean Cruise Line. This cruise line as a whole launched in the year 2021. During the pandemic, talked about bad timing. However, they were strong enough to pull through, and here we are today. This ship does have six decks, holds 180 passengers, 130 crew, so it's kind of like a one-to-one -one ratio, meaning for Every crew member there is basically a passenger for them to cater over to and this is what's known as a luxury style relaxed adventure vacation as far as the pricing the total did come out to just under sixty five hundred dollars however here's the caveat to that full disclosure i did get a little discount from a friend of mine she's a travel agent and her husband is a pilot they got a group rate so i was able to get a cheaper price now these cruises since it is a luxury line, it can go in the price range of anywhere between $10,000 a person or get as high as $20,000 a person. Now keep in mind with this price, everything is included. So the drinks are included, the meals are included, some excursions are included. And I think the only thing that isn't included, don't quote me on this, but it is the Wi-Fi. It's like $350 for the entire cruise. However, I would say overall, not a bad deal. Now I am going to go up here real quick, but unfortunately, well, Fortunately, safety first. We have to go check in for our muster drill, and uh, after that, we'll go do some more exploring of the beautiful ship, World Traveler. Oh, look at these. Oh, yeah, this is definitely going to be an adventure. I'm going on the boat, and I'm without a doubt going paddle boarding. However, these are going to be an additional upcharge. I believe it was like in the range of $75. There's the alarm, and after this, we head down to do our quick muster drill. Just have to grab these guys one for me, and one for you and head down to our muster station. We are muster station two. We have to head down to deck four at the reception area to check in for our muster drill or safety drill, whatever you want to call it. I still can't get over how beautiful this ship is. Down we go. We got a little bit of a traffic jam. Room key? Yes, sir. By the captain only, and an abandoned instruction is initiated only by his voice. Our world class ships. We have two lifeboats with a capacity of 272 persons. Watch your step and hold on to that. We're doing a full on demonstration here, huh? Hiya! The objective of this is to the So the muster drill is done. We can freely move around as we see fit and do some exploring. All right, Lauren, what are we going to go see first? Up. Oh, yeah, actually it is getting dark. We're gonna go see the pool and outside area before it gets too dark and we sail away. So we need to go outside. We are here and we're by the open pool deck, observation deck. Let's go check this whole area out. Oh my god, look at that! Oh, this looks nice. It's amazing! Actually, the pool is as big as the Virgin <laughs> Oh, I don't talk about Virgin like that, even though it looks like it's, it might be true. Obviously things aren't set up yet because, well, we haven't set sail. And I'm going to assume these pools are heated, considering the climate, but I guess we'll see. But overall, this area here looks absolutely beautiful and relaxing. Speaking of relaxing, we had this long chair. And to be honest, I wouldn't mind being in bikini 
relaxing on this long chair in Antarctica. You're not going to wear a bikini. Is it, is it weird? <laughs> I don't think you're going to do it. We went up one more deck and we have the jogging track. Are you going to be up here when we get to Antarctica? <laughs> we'll see. Either way, definitely very relaxing, luxurious, intimate. This ship, I can't get over how gorgeous it is. On top of that, we're in Ushuaia. Guys, I don't know why, but Lauren is so fascinated with the helicopter pad. Look, oh. if something happens, an emergency or anything like that, then this is where the helicopter would land to pick the passenger up and, and escort them off. It's not just for a ride. Actually, all the crew, they go home every night. I tell people all the time, because I always get the question, where do the crew sleep? Well, they don't sleep on the ship. A helicopter comes every day and picks all the crew up, takes them home for the night, and then brings them back in the morning so that they can start their shift. Exactly. By the way, I apologize. I realized I made a mistake earlier. This ship has eight decks, six passenger decks. I think over this way is the observation deck. So if you want to get a view and not be outside, this is the place to go. So we'll find out in a minute. I think this is the observation deck. And then, of course, you have plenty of areas to view. We can also go down there to the front of the ship forward. But if you want a nice, Lauren, what are you doing? <laughs> this is not Titanic, stop it. Yep, here we go, the observation deck. All right, looks like they also call it the dome. Interesting, let's check this place out. Look at this place. Talk about elegant. This is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be spending some time in here for sure. So we're on deck seven now. We're gonna go down to deck four, which is the main deck. That's where pretty much everything is. Here we are, deck four. So we have the main deck here. There's the lounge, auditorium, reception desk, medical center, gym, spa. We'll check all that stuff out in a second here. And you also have the Atlas Lounge to my right. We went in there earlier, but we will take a closer look there in a bit. So this here is the reception area. I love how intimate all of these areas are. So fancy, so nice. Luxurious, but relaxed. Right behind the reception desk, we do have Paula's Pantry. This is essentially the coffee shop. You want to get a macchiato, coffee, hot chocolate. This is where you go. And then, of course, there's more lounging areas here, too. I think we have a, a gift shop over here. Traveler's Choice. Oh, perfect. Lauren, you said you needed a, another jacket, jacket right? Perfect. Just in case. We'll definitely look at that. And then, uh, well, what else do they have here? Patches, too. Penguins. Probably have to take one of those home, <laughs> definitely. Here's the spa. Let's go check it out. Lock it down. Go ahead and get a quick scan of the spa. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, look at this. So they said tomorrow because they closed everything up, we can see the actual spa rooms that they have available tomorrow. So I'll be sure to put that in my next video. But they have a sauna over here on this side, shower so you can clean yourself. And this well, is nice. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. What is this? Yeah. Face. Oh, how do you yeah. pronounce it? L'Occitane? L'Occitane. L'Occitane. Yeah, L'Occitane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Let's check out the gym, the fitness studio. Oh, wow. Oh, small but functional. Either way, we can definitely make this work for sure. Not bad. This is really, really nice. So this gym is nice, intimate, functional. However, let's just hope because of the size that everybody that's on board isn't trying to come here at 7 a.m. and get a workout in. Let's check out the buffet. Now, I think this is the main dining area. and Maybe this is the only place we're going to be eating at for the entire expedition, the cruise. But I'm assuming it's not going to disappoint. Oh, yeah. This looks absolutely delicious. Perfect welcoming meal here. What are you looking at? Oh, do they? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Perfect, because I'm starving. Yeah, this food looks absolutely delicious. How you doing, are you good? So before we get to the main entree, we do have tuna tartare, we have prosciutto, salmon. Lauren got pretty much the same thing as me. What is that, the, is that potato? Oh, that's time potato, yes. Time potato, and we have some fancy wine. Lauren, what's, what's wine? Called what? Comte Alexandre Rouge. Comte Alexandre Rouge. Comte, Comte Alexandre. Comte Alexandre. Rouge. Rouge. I gotta work on my French. I know, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lauren, it's our first time on a luxury line. Let me know what you think of the pasta. So overall, the food is amazing. The pasta, I'm really picky on my pasta, guys. You know it. The pasta is a little bit, to me, overcooked with too much cream because normally carbonara pasta, they don't have cream, they have only yellow egg with parmesan cheese. Not that much parmesan cheese. And the quantity is a little bit small, but it's still good. Okay, not bad for the first meal. 
Now, I gotta double check, but I think that normally it's not like buffet style. It'll be like uh, table by table service. However, it's the first day, so yeah, they're gonna make it as convenient for everyone as possible, including the crew. Let's go ahead and check out the Atlas Lounge. Now, we were here earlier, but we didn't really get a chance to like take a real look around. Oh, look, we're sailing away. I'll try to get us outside in a little bit, but I wanted to show you guys, we do have a bar that's open. How's it going, guys? The bar is open 24 hours, which is absolutely amazing for the people that like to drink. And we have a piano over there. You have plenty of lounging areas and it looks extremely comfortable. They have it closed, but I think we're gonna peek in there. This is the Auditorium Vasco da Gama. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, wow. This is nice for what it is. This is really, really, really beautiful. Hey there. Oh. You, uh, you doing okay? Hey, you look very comfortable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're just gonna flip off your shoes like that. Uh-oh. They have done it now. Oh, just wait. I'm gonna be walking around the entire ship. Just my underwear in this. The whole crew. What do you think? Even outside in the snow. I dare you. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. I'm not gonna do that. Or am I? We just sailed away. Let's see what's going on. Outside. Whoa, look at this view. No, I mean, given this camera probably doesn't do it justice, but it is beautiful. See you in nine days, Ushuaia. Speaking of seeing Ushuaia later, we are actually going to see you guys later too. We are all checked in, we've done our mustard drill, and well, this ship is not really that big, so I don't want to give away the entire ship. I think I kind of already have though. No. Oh, you'll see the pool filled with water and all the boats and all the festivities when we get to Antarctica. So I'm going to cut it off here. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, guys, know that I love every single one of you. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you later. Take, Take it, it easy. Every time. Mm -hmm. Take it easy.